Good morning everyone. Welcome to uh, another, another big shave with Steve Fanniger. Um Good news, the Merkers arrived. The Merker future it cost me £53 on, on uh, Amazon. I was bidding on one on uh, eBay, but it went, that went actually over 50 I think it went for about 59 in the end, so, which was second hand. First impressions of a maker. Beautiful object. It's a sort of Ferrari of the uh, razor world. Look at it. It's a brushed aluminium. Lovely design. It's what Gillette should have been doing, really. Gillette and Wilkinson sort. Should, should be doing something like this instead of this ridiculous... Uh, Ridiculous five blade stuff. Um, it hasn't got, it's a bit shiny there, but it still seems to be quite easy to grip. Very, very heavy. Um, it's got an adjustable head on it. I won't take the blade out because you cut yourself when you take the blade out, which is not very good. It's got uh, a dial system, you can see that. <coughs> Six is the widest. So almost a cutthroat shave on a six. Okay, you take it down to one. Twist it down to one. Even on on one, it's not very narrow. It's not as narrow as the Wilkinson uh, the Wilkinson plastic one. So you still, I think you've still got to have a degree of skill with this razor, even on the lowest setting. I'm taking it that the lowest setting is for not much beard, and the big one is for a lot of beard. I'm going to try it on a three today, so. Let's wind it to three. I want you to take the blade out. But it's actually got a Mirko blade in it as well, so that'll be interesting. Never used one of those before. Okay, so it's set to three. Set the controls to three, and let's get a bit of, bit of lather on. Do, do. So I'm really excited about this, about using this razor. I've been looking at it all last night. So it's running it down my face. Um, okay, so let's see how it's like. My friend, the thing when you first start using it is trying to work out what angle you're supposed to hold there. It's not like that. You're just bringing it, bringing it round till you feel it cussing. Oh my god. Oh my god. be interesting to try another blade on this because obviously maker blades are supposed to be really sharp high quality they do work out about 50 pence each it's just absolutely no effort being put in on the neck you just it just cuts through like that's like a knife through butter So this is a this is a three it seems to be quite easy on a three. I think what we'll do is <clears throat> when we do the last one, we'll take it right down to one. Okay, so we're doing the second pass, which is the across. It does feel like you're getting shaved with the cutthroat. You can you can feel the sort of cutting sound you get when you when someone's giving you. A, Single blade, right? Shave. It goes into the neck really well. Really sort of just slinks in. Nice, last one. So I'm going to take it right down to one this time, see whether it's. It's, uh, ow, shit, that's the, the only problem with them is it's that easy to cut yourself. No, no, I can cut myself. The blade sits quite proud out, outside, I don't know if you can see it on that. So it's quite easy to catch yourself. Can you see the blade sitting off? Dead easy to catch yourself. Should be a health warning. Okay, so last one. Now this is a... Totally against the flow. Start off down, down the jawline, both sides. 
Oh, to the beard. And just It's a very strange sensation because you keep going back expecting there to be some beard to cut off and there isn't any, it's gone. Oh wow, the neck, that is fantastic. <clears throat> right, let's go. Oh, you can see now. Like a squeegee at the moment because there's nothing cutting. It's all gone. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like with another set of blades in. It's maybe a Wilkinson or a Treat or a Derby. But the neck is unbelievably clean. There's a little bit there. I think you can hear it, but there's no. No beard sound. It's fantastic. <clears throat> anyway, there you go. Give it a couple of weeks for using this and see what happens. But uh, I think I might be uh, put away some of my old shade, all the razors really. Um, this is the, you know using the the, the Edwin Jagger and this in combination. It's better than the Edwin Jagger. Definitely better. Definitely, definitely better. Worth the 50 quid, I think. Well, so far, anyway. So, okay, so let's, um, let's apply a bit of uh, a bit of cologne. Very, very cheap Turkish cologne. Mm -hmm. I think these, this is the sort of stuff you pay about a quid for. It might be quite. Again, absolutely no sting. No sting at all. Okay. Now the cream. I'll put the aftershave on because the aftershave is in the bedroom. Anyway, so there you go, that was a review of the uh, the Merca Future. Merca, Merca Future. £53 in the UK. Excellent value. Great little razor, great razor. Uh, I'll show you how to load it next time. Loading's quite difficult and uh, it's a one. It's probably just a video on that on its own. But look at it, look at that beauty. Okay, so that's. Um, 13th of April 2011, Steve Fager, uh, the big shave. I'm in Southport, actually, not in Liverpool, so that's freezing. Ta da!